Hello Zebra Herd, welcome back to another Zebratastic Moments video. Today is a compilation video of every single gym leader boss battle in Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. One of my favorite parts of any Pokemon game is being able to reach the gym leader of a certain area. So I hope you guys have fun with this compilation. Enjoy the video. All right, well, let's go this way. Hey, look, it's Brock. So you're here, I'm Brock, Pewter City Gym, Pewter City's gym leader. You can just see just by looking at my Pokemon how rock hard my willpower is. My Pokemon are all hard as rock and have true grit determination. That's right, my Pokemon are all rock types. Wahahaha, <laughs> you're going to challenge me even knowing that you'll lose? That's what a trainer's honor demands. So be it, show me your best. I'll have to see about that, his head is huge. Like it does not seem like it fit, it fit on his body at all. You're challenged by Jim Leader Brock. Jim Leader Brock sends out Geodude. Yeah, well we've defeated two of these guys already, I think we can handle another one. Come on Eve, we got this. Fight and double kick. Eve use double kick, come on, nice. Oh, that's really not doing as much damage because it's level 11. It's super effective, hit two times. Use tackle. So far not using any type of type of type specific move. So that's good for us. We should be able to take out Geodude with this one. Boom. And one more should be good enough. Oh, ho, ho, we did it. Awesome. So what else do you have? It's super effective. And it fainted. 65 experience, almost a level up. Onyx, oh my. We will not switch our Pokemon, we will keep battling. Sent out Onyx. So we do have to be careful of our health. Whoa, he is huge! He is gigantic! Oh my gosh, you could just eat Pikachu. Don't do that. So we're gonna double kick. Ooh, it doesn't do too much damage, but if we get it a critical, that'd be so cool. Let's see what we're gonna do. Roth throw, ooh, this is gonna hurt. Mm. Okay, we can handle one more hit like that and then we'll heal. Double kick him on. Ooh, not bad. Got you down into the low yellow, it's super effective. Rock throw again. Oh, we avoided it, awesome. Let's go for one more, come on Eve, you can do it. Let's defeat Brock without any issues. Oh, ho, 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 see ya. Wow, that was close. It's super effective, hit two times that the opposing Onyx fainted. We got 161 experience, getting ourselves all the way up to level 12 for Eve. Very cool, gets plus one defense for it. Nice. Eve wants to learn the move Double Team. Should an old move be forgotten and then replaced with Double Team? I think, what is Double Team? It's a normal type move with 15 PP. By moving rapidly, the user makes illusory, illusory copies of itself to raise its evasiveness. Sure, I think that'd be better than Tail Whip. The user wags his tail cutely, making the opposing Pokemon less wary and lowering their defense stat. I think we will switch those out then. One, two, and ta-da! You forgot tail whip, and learn double team. Awesome. Your party's Pokemon in waiting. Also, okay, Otters level 11, very nice. Kakuna level eight, not bad. And Rattata level nine. So there we have it, we have defeated Brock and we learned focus energy for Rattata. Pidgey grew to level 11, it just never ends. Never ever ends. Learn to move quick attack. We're getting old move. Uh, actually, I mean, is quick attack better than tackle? Tackle, a quick attack is 4100, this is 4100. The user launches at the target at a speed that makes it almost invisible. This move always goes first, or tackle, a physical attack in which the user charges and slams it at the target with its whole body. I do like quick attack a little bit better, so we're gonna go ahead and Learn it over tackle. One, two, and ta-da! Pidgey forgot tackle, and Pidgey learned quick attack. Cool. You beat Gym Leader Brock! It seems I underestimated you. You got a 1,920 for winning. That's more than we currently have. That's crazy. Loads of money. As proof of your victory, take an official Pokemon, Poke, Pokemon? Pokemon League badge, a Boulder badge. Yeah, we did it, Pikachu! Yeah, high five. <laughs> you got a boulder badge from Brock. With a boulder badge, Pokemon up to level 20 from other trainers will listen to you. Without question. Oh, and wait, hey, this with you too. You got a TM01 headbutt from Brock. The 
put in the TM case. If you use a TM or a technical machine, you can teach your Pokemon to move within it. And move within it. <laughs> a TM can be used as many times as you like, so use it on any Pokemon you want. TM01 contains Headbutt. It deals damage to your opponent's Pokemon by ramming them with a head as hard as rock. Interesting. There are all kinds of people in this huge world of ours. Some have their Pokemon battle, some just like to raise them. I'm hard at work here to learn how to become a Pokemon breeder who helps raise Pokemon. You're aiming to become a strong trainer, right? Then you should challenge all other, all the other gyms. I will. But let's get to it. Hopefully this all turns out well. Hi, you're a new face. What's your policy on Pokemon? What's your approach? My policy of rattle is an all out offensive with water type Pokemon. Misty, the world famous beauty is your host. My sweet Pokemon already. Are you? I sure hope so. So do you have a, what is it called, a Togepi? Like, no, that, that's a Gen 2 Pokemon, so you wanna have that, would you? You're challenged by Gym Leader Misty. Gym Leader Misty, stand up Psyduck. So we caught a Psyduck last episode, that was pretty cool to see. Go on, Eve, I know you can do it. What's cool is you can really see the scale between the Pokemon and the trainers, which isn't something you see in every Pokemon game, so that's pretty cool here. So let's go ahead and just immediately hit you with that Zippy Zap. It should be really good. Come on, boom! Sorry, Psyduck. It's super effective. That's it, I knew you could do it. A critical hit, the opposing Psyduck fainted. Wow, we. so there's the first Pokemon down. How many more do you have left to go? 114 experience, and be level 19 or level 20? Level 20 for Eve, wow, we. the first big 2-0. -oh. Okay, hopefully many more to come of those. Team Leader Misty is about to send out Starmie. We are not gonna change our Pokemon, we're gonna keep battling. Team Leader Misty sent out Starmie. Whoa, that looks so pretty. So let's fight, and once again, zip to the zap. Come on, Pikachu, you can do it. Eve, you got it. Super effective, that's it, I knew you could do it. Now, not, not enough to take him down though, you're gonna use Psy Wave. Ooh, ooh, that hurt. I was gonna do another Zippy Zap, just to be absolutely sure this gets it. Come on, boom. Okay, so we got you. It's super effective. That's it, I knew you could do it, a critical hit. So there we go, we have defeated Gym Leader Misty without too much of an issue. You got 346 experience, and looks like Lily grew to level 19. Awesome, uh, just grew to level 18. And Oddish wants to learn to move Razor Leaf. Yes, we should probably forget to move for Razor Leaf, that sounds interesting. So Razor Leaf is a 55 power, 95% accuracy. Sharp edged leaves are launched to slash at the opposing Pokemon. Critical hits land more easily. Okay. I think I like that more than like, user scatters a cloud of numbing powder that paralyzes a target. I think we'll just put it over this. One, two, and ta-da! I just forgot poison powder and learned Razor Leaf. Pretty cool. You beat Gym Leader Misty! Wow, you're too much. You got $3,000 for winning this one. All right, you can have a Cascade badge to show that you beat me. Awesome, so we get ourselves our second badge in the game. It is a Cascade badge from Misty. A Cascade badge makes Pokemon up to level 30 from other trainers listen to you. And you can also have my favorite TM. You got TM29 Scald for Misty. You put a TM29 in your TM case. TM29 teaches Pokemon to move Scald. The move Scald. Use it on a Pokemon that lives in the water. Hmm, interesting. What else do you have to say? TM29 teaches Pokemon to the move Scald. Use them, okay. Oh, there it is. Okay, cool. <laughs> awesome, so we figured it out. And that means we can just head over to Lieutenant Surge. And hopefully everything will turn out okay with that. Hey buddy, how are you? Ten Hut, welcome to the Vermilion City Gym. Well you look at that, a pint sized challenger. <laughs> You've got big and brassy nerves to take me on with your puny power. A Pokemon battle is war, I'll show you civilian. Oh no, I'll shock you into surrender. We'll have to see about that. Just because you're big and strong doesn't mean your Pokemon are too. Because it's a reflection on your personality, not your muscles. Gym Leader, Lieutenant Surge. He sent out Voltorb. Just please don't do more self-destructing stuff. Okay, so we'll give this a shot just doing Zippy Zap. I think it'll be fine. I mean, we only have one level advantage over him. Come on, Zippy Zap! We'll see how this ends up working out. Oh, it was decent damage. It's not very effective. 
but it's still good damage. So you're using Light Screen now, which will make this less effective, but it's still very good to use, just because that guaranteed critical really makes it better than most things. Come on. Because we're sort of brute forcing our way through this one. We don't really have too many type advantages over Electric, so really the best thing we can do is just hope this will work out. Hoping he has at least like one Magnemite, we'll do one more Zippy Zap against you, and it should be enough to take you down. Come on. Yeah, nice. So there's Voltorb gone. What do we got next? 164 experience. Magnemite, awesome. So we are going to keep with what we have for now. And then if I need to, I'll switch over to Kobe. But it's a pretty high level, so I'd like to do double kick. Ready, just yeah, try this out. And that's pretty gosh darn good already. Super effective, hit two times. You're gonna use Thunderbolt, which is not gonna be very effective at all. Ooh, but almost taking me out. A critical hit. It looks like I might cry. No, don't cry. Instead, double kick. Double kick, come on, this should be enough to take out the Magnemite. Yeah, okay, awesome. So what do we have next? Your final Pokemon, right? It's super effective. 162 experience, your party Pokemon in waiting also got experience. Light screen wore off, that's fine. Raichu, ooh, the evolution of Pikachu. Let's switch Pokemon. And maybe I'll just work with Lily? Might be our best bet for now. Let's switch over. Come on, back Eve. And you know, if things look nasty, I can try to heal. But yeah, this has been the toughest gym yet just because of how our team is orchestrated. We just really don't have any kind of good defense against many electric types. We can just sort of work with it. Raichu looks so cool though. Let's go ahead and just do Swift. We are two levels under this Raichu. But we should be okay, I would hope. Oh boy. Ooh, that hurts. We just gotta keep doing Swift for now. And then after this, maybe I can throw out Fred. That might be good. Come on, not bad, not bad. This is a tough battle for sure. Come on. Or maybe I could get Pikachu out and just do like one last Zippy Zap to finish him off. Because our Pikachu matches that Raichu in level. Not enough to take us out, right? Oh, unless it was like a crazy critical. It might cry. I really don't want you to cry. Okay, so. I could either hit you with one last thing, or I can spend this healing Eve. So I think that I'll go ahead and fight. No, 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 not fight. Go to our bag, get a super potion, and use it on Eve. I'm so sorry, I would love to use this on you, Lily, but I, I just can't. I gotta make sure that we can do this. Come on, come on. I know it's gonna take you out, isn't it? I'm so sorry, Lily. It just had to happen. Okay, so, wait, I can't switch to a fainted Pokemon. We gotta switch over to Eve, and we're just gonna Zippy Zap you, and we should be able to attack first because of that. And hopefully that'll be enough just to take down the rest of your health. It will be a critical, so that would be good. Zippy Zap, and come on, come on, Zippity Zap it! Boom! Oh, still not enough. So you're just gonna use Thunderbolt, though, which obviously won't damage us too much at all. Okay, now's our chance, now's our chance. Just do Double Kick. We could do Zippy Zap again, but I think Double Kick will be just as good. Boom, and there it is, we only need one kick. Awesome stuff, so we've defeated Lieutenant Surge. That's his name, right? I think it is. 442 experience, unfortunately Lily didn't get experience because she got taken out. Fred, we're to level 21 now. We beat defeat the gym leader, Lieutenant Surge. Now that's a shocker. You're the real deal, kid. $4,000 for winning that one, that is awesome, and we'll have to make sure we check out the shop after this. He is mad. <laughs> no, he's happy. Fine, then take the, the Thunder Badge. All right, we did it. Another gym leader defeated. You got a Thunder Badge from Lieutenant Surge. And that's not all. You're a special kid, take this. Oh, his autograph, okay. <laughs> I don't know what we're gonna use that for. No, <laughs> don't worry, that's not all I'm giving you. Got TM36 Thunderbolt from Lieutenant Surge. You put that in our TM case. TM36 contains an electrified Electrifying Thunderbolt, which we already have for Pikachu. Teach it to an electric type Pokemon for some extra shock value. Pretty cool. What else do you have to say? And a little word of advice, kid. Electric type Poke or electric type moves are su sure powerful, but remember that they'll get sucked right up by ground type Pokemon. Those moves are useless against them. Let's hope so. Let's take on Erica. I can only hope this will turn out okay. Hi, Erica. Hello, lovely weather, isn't it? We're indoors. 
It's so pleasant. Did she fall asleep? Oh dear, I must have dozed off. I think she did it again. Welcome. My name is Erica. I'm the gym leader of, Cel of the Celadon City Gym. I'm a student of the art of flower arranging. My Pokemon are all of the grass type. Oh, I'm sorry, did you perhaps wish to challenge me? Very well, but I shall not lose. We'll have to see about that, going against Gym Leader Erica, the grass type gym leader. I think we can handle this. I'm gonna send out Tangela right away. I think this time we will go with the uh, the fire spin, really get that going so that I can damage this Tangela down a little bit more. So let's fight, let's fire spin, and see how things go. Might have to take it a little bit slower. Ooh, okay, not bad. So you're gonna try Sleeping Powder, which isn't that great, but it's not that big of a deal because we'll have that Fire Vortex doing some damage. Ooh, will that be enough to take you down though? Not quite, I was hoping to do a little bit more damage than that. So let's go to our bag and just use an Awakening if we have one. We do have five Awakenings, well that's well worth it. We use one then. Got it. Fred woke up. You're gonna use Mega Drain, which isn't the best, it does 20 HP, but could be worse for sure. So we might just go ahead and use an Ember now and be able to finish off the rest of your health, but ooh, that's gonna do its job pretty well. And then we could just try Dragon Rage. Remember, that's a guaranteed 40 damage, so we could just do this and we'll just take out the rest of the health there, like without too much of an issue. That's what I sort of like about that movie, is there is some sort of like guaranteed to it. Oh, Town to level 33, awesome. Wants to learn the move Bubble Beam. Definitely, I wanna take a look at that. Uh, bubble Beam, as we can see, a spray of bubbles is forcefully ejected at the target. This may also lower its speed stat. Now that is a higher level. Okay, so we're just gonna go ahead and do Tail Whip, I think, get rid of uh, Tail Whip. Yeah, I think so, forgot this move. Cause that's our most damaging water move now, which is really exciting. Maybe I could've gotten rid of Bubble and just replaced it with Bubble Beam. But I think this might also work as well. Okay, you're gonna send out Weeping Bell. We're going to keep battling. And I think it's sort of the same situation. We're gonna do Fire Spin and Ember. Cause this is level 33. Definitely catching up in levels a little bit. So let's do Fire Spin. Come on, you can do it, Fred. Ooh, not bad damage. Poison Jab though, oof, I don't like it. I don't like it one but ooh, that really, really hurt. Will that be enough to take you down? Not even close. But we didn't get poisoned is the good news. Somehow we managed not to, that was way too close to Weeping Bow. Way too close for comfort. Cause he's just got this giant mouth that's just sort of uncomfortable to look at. I don't know. 451 experience, not bad. Who are we going against next? Vileplume. I mean, it might be worth it to switch Pokemon. I think that we'll keep battling. We'll do Fire Spit and then we'll switch over to Lily. Something like that. Whoa, you look so cool. We haven't seen you yet in the game. You are a lot bigger than I thought you were. I hope you don't take us out in one hit. So 32 damage is still quite a lot, even for level 34, right? Mega Drain, oh man, come on, come on. Oh, that is close. We're gonna switch out Pokemon now. Because you should be starting to get hurt by your Fiery Vortex, perfect. I'm hoping that switching out Pokemon won't change the Fire Spin thing, but uh, we'll just switch over to Lily. And then that'll be our best bet. She's level 37, so she does out-level the Vile Plume pretty well. We don't wanna use Dig, because Dig isn't very effective against Grass types. Okay, so let's give this a shot. Moonblast, what in the world is this thing? Oh, okay, well that wasn't very damaging, but it was very cool looking. Let's do Swift. Just, you know, keep using Swift a couple times. Ah, that was okay. I mean, not really any more or less, but yeah, I've noticed that the uh, the Fire Vortex doesn't work anymore, which is sort of a shame. I thought it was gonna continue damaging the Vile Plume for a couple turns at the least, but it only seems to do one. Just sort of a shame, I don't really like that too much. Okay, ooh, that hurt. I don't know how well this is gonna work out, because you're healing yourself up a lot now. I'm gonna try one more time. I don't think that they're gonna be able to do 54 damage. Maybe we can hit like a lucky critical or something, but they keep on using Mega Drain in a way that's tough to keep up with. They're actually healing themselves back up nearly fully. Okay, don't cry, Lily. Well, let's go to our bag and then do a super potion. And I think we'll do it on Fred first. Oh, this is tough. This is really tough. Like, I don't know, maybe Fred just needs to be a higher level. 
because you're gonna try and make a drain again, and that's gonna be it for Lily. I'm so sorry, Lily. I thought you were gonna hold on to that a little bit better. So we'll switch back over to Fred and just hit you with Fire Vortex and Ember over and over again. Like, really, what more can I do? I mean, I could try the Dragon move a bit more. You're in charge, Fred, just like we said. For right now, let's go ahead and do Fire Spin and just like really let the damage stack. Like, that's what I want. Oh, you avoided it, seriously? I don't like that. I mean, I know it doesn't have like 100% accuracy, which is just, maybe I should just focus on doing just Ember over and over again. Like maybe I'm overthinking this, so let's just try Ember. Like maybe we can burn you, because it does a lot of damage. But Mega Drain is really tiresome to deal with. It's not very effective. Will will be able to take out, uh, I don't know. This might be a bad idea, but I'll try it. Boom. Come on. Man, you just use Mega Drain every time. Okay, I was sort of open for that. I didn't think it was going to. Fred, oh, Fred toughed it out. Wait, what does that mean? I don't know. Uh, Pokemon, no, not Pokemon, I need Bag. I just need to heal up again. So we should have a Hyper Potion. We do, that's 120 HP. We're using it, I just need a full heal. Just do it. Come on now. And hopefully she doesn't use a potion. But if we can get a burn on you, because you're gonna use Mega Drain again, which really isn't that big of a deal. Because I don't know how much health you have, but the chances are it's not more like, we could try our Dragon Move. If it does at least 40 damage, or it does, it always inflicts 40 HP damage, chances are they have about the same amount of health as we do, 91. So like 90 to 95, like half of that would be 45. So like, let's see if this is enough to take you down. Oh, not quite. So you have a lot more health than we do. Mega Draining again, I'm just gonna do Ember. Just gonna do Ember, should definitely finish you off. Uh, yeah, that's really not too much. So we should be fine. Fight and Ember. Come on, you can do it. Yeah. Good job, Fred. Survival point fainted, and along with that, we've defeated the gym leader. That actually was a little bit more difficult than I expected. 750 experience, still not a level up for Fred, but we defeated gym leader Erica. Oh, I can see defeats. You are remarkably strong. You got $5,000 for winning. Pretty nice spoilers right there. I must confer on you, a, on you a rainbow badge. Yeah, okay, so we get our fourth gym leader badge. How exciting. You get a rainbow badge from Erica. A rainbow badge raises the level of Pokemon willing to listen to you to level 50 for Pokemon that you have received from other trainers. And Tyr, if you like, please also take this with you. You got TM53 Mega Drain from Erica. I'm sick of hearing about this thing. Uh, TM53 contains Mega Drain. Half the damage it inflicts is drained from the target to deal to heal your Pokemon. Wouldn't you agree it's a wonderful move? I'd probably wanna put that on Venusaur or something. Uh, Charlotte. Oh my, so you are cataloging the Pokemon you catch? I must say I'm impressed. I myself would never collect a Pokemon if it were, were not beautiful. Well, that's once again an eye of beholder thing. So you shouldn't be so rude. <laughs> and let's try this one, because we definitely haven't yet. Will it bring us where we need to go? <gasps> oh, it will, look at us, we've made it. It's Sabrina, hi. Ooh, what a cool camera angle, I like it. So you've come, I had a vision of your arrival. I have, have, I have had psychic powers since I was a child. It started when I carelessly threw a spoon aside and it bent itself into an unnatural shape. Maybe because you threw it. I just like battling, but if you wish to, then I will show you my power. Well, I'm actually a little frightened. She seems like she knows her stuff out of all the trainers so far. And the crowd is watching. You are challenged by Gym Leader Sabrina. Gym Leader Sabrina sent out Mr. Mime. Okay, so we haven't really gone against Mr. Mime too much. I think maybe once before. Okay. So let's fight and we'll just go ahead and throw out our strongest move first, Thunder. And you avoided it. That is like the third time that has happened in this gym. Why? <laughs> okay. Stronger against special moves. I don't know what a special move really is, so let's just try Zippy Zap. And at least with this, we can land the attack. And if it doesn't do too much damage, we know why. Ooh, but it still hurt, didn't it? Critical hit. You're gonna use Psychic, which will hurt as well. Ooh, not bad right there. We're only one level higher than uh, Mr. Mime. But that should be enough. Take you down. Gotcha, awesome. So, 
Mr. Mime is down, how many Pokemon do you have? Like two or three, I think? Probably three, that seems to be average for a gym leader. And you're gonna send out Slowbro, which I feel like is also a water, no, he has, she has four, but I don't know. I feel like it's like a psychic water or something. Yes, it is. Okay, this is the one we dealt with earlier. So let me try Zippy Zap again before you try to make me fall asleep. Ooh, wait, was that? It's super effective, but it didn't really do much. You must have like really high defense. You psychic, oh, that's bad. Please, not too damaging. Oh, that's really damaging. Oh, what happened? Special defense fell. Eve is in a bit of a pinch. It looks like she might cry. Don't cry, Eve, we got this. Let's use Thunder. Can we please attack first? Why? Why do they keep avoiding Thunder? Thunder must just have like a low accuracy, so this might be Eve getting taken down, which is a really bad deal. Hmm. Because Charlotte's good against Slowbro because of the water, but also Slowbro's good against Charlotte because of the poison. But we'll try it. We will try it and see what ends up happening. Switch. And hopefully Charlotte can attack first. That would be a good advantage. So let's fight and pedal dance. Come on, land. I think it's only gonna land, yeah. Very good. So Slowbro is down. You have two more Pokemon left to deal with. We might have to, like, depending on what the Pokemon is, we might have to switch to a Pokemon we don't want to use too much, but then use that to revive Eve. 739 experience, so it's a level up for Charlotte to level 42. And... Jinx. I think we're gonna switch Pokemon. And maybe, Jinx is what Pokemon? Jinx is the ice type. So we could try Fred. Let's try Fred and see what ends up happening. I mean, it may not work out very well, but we gotta try. Come on, Fred, you can do it. Fight and Ember. Come on, come on. It does some okay damage for the two level deficit we have compared to Jinx. Are we gonna do the sleep move though? Ah oh, man, I really wish we could use the Pokemon flute with that. Fred fell asleep. Okay, so I can't really make him fight at this point, so let's just use the bag and do what we gotta do with that. So it is awakening that we're looking for. And up you go, come on. Good morning, rise and shine, Fred. You got a battle to do. And uh, ooh, that really hurt. That was a critical hit. Okay, I might have to heal. I mean, I didn't want to have to do that, but that stinks, because I really got him now. Let's just do a super potion, use it on Fred. That won't get him all the way back up, but hopefully a back up enough that we can survive. I don't know, it's really tough right now. This is not an easy battle. I mean, we still have the advantage, but only to an extent. Jinx is a really tough one. Not a critical hit this time, right? That's good to see. So as long as we can land Ember, like maybe if we could get a critical hit, that'd be appreciated. Not looking like it's super effective, but that's about it. Ooh, but you're burned! That's always good to see. Oh gosh, you're gonna use your Psychic again. That might take Fred out. It will, I'm so sorry, Fred. I did what I could. So now we're down to, we're, we're down to Pokemon. That burn could have been better. <laughs> Let's just go to Lily then. It's our best bet for right now. We'll probably just use Swift. Swift should be fine. Okay. Jinx has like this like weird look to her. Like she's not really thinking of nothing. Okay, let's use Swift. And still not enough to take you out. Jeez, I should just use Psychic. Don't, oh my gosh, this is so frustrating. I really don't like sleep moves because they're just like, they're so persistent, right? Oh, oh, awesome. Never mind. you shook yourself awake. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Really? All right, we'll just do Swift again. We know it attacks first compared to most of her moves, so we should be good. And boom, see ya. Okay, so what is her last Pokemon? Hopefully something we can handle. Level 41 for Tonka, that's good. So now Alakazam, keep battling. My best bet is either doing ground type moves or I don't know, because E was very good against, you know, uh, Kadabra. So let's just try Dig. <laughs> it might work out, it might not. You're gonna use Nightshade, which uh, uh, didn't really do much. Okay, so we're gonna Dig and just sort of, let me gauge how much damage this really does. Psychic, but we're able to avoid that one. And boom, not bad, we can do that again. Fight, and hopefully we can actually get under there faster than they can do anything. Psychic again, shouldn't take us out, right? Oh yeah, not much, not very effective. Very good, let's just go back underground then. 
What level is this Alakazam? Level 44. See, if we're level 45, then we're a higher level than everything in the gym. So that's interesting that's a requirement. Boom, got it. Okay, so the opposing Alakazam fainted after losing three Pokemon. That was really tough, but we got 989 experience for it, not bad. And we beat gym leader Sabrina, it was very hard fought. This loss shocks me, but a loss is a loss. I admit I didn't work hard enough to win. $7,000 for winning, oh my gosh. She looks so upset. <laughs> Your victory has earned you a Marsh badge. Yeah, we did it! So another gym leader, our fifth in total now. Taken down, you got a Marsh badge from Sabrina. A Marsh badge raises the level of Pokemon that, you, that will obey you to level 60 for Pokemon that you have received from another trainer. And wait, please take this TM with you. You got TM33 Calm Mind from Sabrina. Okay, TM33 is Calm Mind. It makes a Pokemon concentrate to boost both its special attack and special defense in battle. Psychic power isn't something that only a few people have. Everyone has psychic power, people just don't realize it. Very cool, I like it. You have anything else to say? Psychic power isn't something, yeah, okay, nothing else. All right, we did it, we won! All right, I'm all healed up, let's take on Master Koga. How are you doing? Oh, oh, uh, where'd he go? <laughs> Uh-oh, whoa, 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 what's happening? I mean, a child like you dares to challenge me. The very idea makes me shiver with mirth. Very well, I shall show you the true terror as a ninja master. Oh, great. Opponents can't lay a hand on me as poison brings their steady doom. Oh, you're back to being one. Despair as you feel the creeping horror of poison-type Pokemon. Little do you know, I know their weakness. All right, let's take him on. It is uh, Gym Leader Koga. He looks so cool in this pose. I like it. So now Weezing. So he has four Pokemon in total, which is a little bit of a threat, but I think we'll be A-OK. -okay. Go on, Lily, I know you can do it. So we might as well go ahead and use Psychic against him. I think it'll be fine. We might even be able to attack first. We're a total of 10 levels over this Weezing. No, the Weezing gets to attack first. And of course, it's Protect. So that's not gonna be very useful for us, as you can see. Um, so let's fight again. Psychic, will you just do Protect again? Because eventually we'll be successful. But nope, we got it. Nice. So lots of Protect in this gym. I've never even seen a Pokemon really use Protect all that much before this gym, and now everybody's using it. It's a cool new thing. Venomoth. Um, I will actually switch Pokemon, and I think we'll move back to Fred again. Um, got it, because it's once again Bug type and flying is good against Bug. I just want to do that. So, you know, if we can get some other Pokemon in here, make it a little bit more varietous, that's always fun. I'm guessing it's a bug poison? But yeah, that's also another thing that's on the over the window over there, which is pretty cool. Maybe we can guess some of the other Pokemon. Um, for now, let's just go ahead and do wing attack. Are oh, you gonna use protect? Seriously? <laughs> that only helps you for so long. It'd be so funny if we defeat this guy and the only thing he had a chance to use was protect. <laughs> it wouldn't look all that threatening. Boom. Nice, one hit takedown, that's all I wanted to see. Okay, so what do we got going on now? Got two more Pokemon to work our way through. And it is Muck. Okay, so I will switch Pokemon again, switch back to Lily, and I think that will, I mean, last time we used Psychic against Muck, it didn't turn out perfectly. I think I'd rather do Dig, because I think it's a gooder, it's a gooder, better, sorry, um, response to the Protect. We'll find out. Muck just has a lot of health. Like, Muck is sort of a tank. Dig. Yeah, he's gonna use Protect, but that doesn't matter too much unless he uses a second Protect. And that actually works, because it seems like if you use Protect back to back, there's a pretty low chance of it working. Let's find out if he does that. Will he use Dig? Okay, he didn't do anything. Weird. Ah, oh, but not enough to take him out. That stinks. Sludge Bomb. Ah, oh, don't poison. Don't poison. Don't poison. Yeah, it didn't poison. Okay, so let's just go ahead and really quickly use Psychic and see if that works. Yes, okay, see ya, Muck. Got it. So now that we've done that, what do we got going on now? His fourth and final Pokemon. Not too much of an issue whatsoever. We stomped this dude. Jimmy Lococa is about to send out Golbat. I will definitely switch Pokemon. And let's finish everything off with Eve. Eve can definitely show it to him. You know, Golbat is a flying type. I don't know if it's a flying poison, it might be. It doesn't really matter too much to me because we're gonna take you out before you have any time to respond. <laughs> it looks so silly with its giant mouth. Go ahead and just use Thunder to take you down right away. Oh, oh come on, really? 
This is just unnecessary. I mean, maybe if I do Zippy Zap, which will definitely hit first every time, I think. It's all supposed to work. No, you're just gonna protect against that too. So it really doesn't hit every time. Okay, come on, come on. <laughs> Are you just gonna protect over and over again? Because eventually I will win. There it is. And boom. You had no chance. I'm so sorry. It's super effective. That's it. I knew you could do it. A critical hit. Golbat fainted. So there we have it. We got 683 experience. Our waiting Pokemon also got it, and we beat Gym Leader Koga. <laughs> you have proven your worth. We got $7,000 for winning. Awesome. Here, take the take a soul badge. He's very to the point. We did it! Yeah, good job, Eve. You got a soul badge from Koga. Now that you have a soul badge, Pokemon up to level 70 will heal your, hear your, heed your command if you receive them in a trade. Ah, take this too. You got a TM27 Toxic from Kova, or Koga. Uh, and we put it in our TM case. Sealed within the TM27 lies a Pokemon move, Toxic. It is an ancient move passed down through my family for 400 years. When hit with toxic poisonous effects, a Pokemon will take more and more damage with each turn that passes in battle. It will surely terrorize your opponent. All right, cool. So he's just gonna tell us more about Toxic. I don't know if we need that too much, but it's good to keep in mind that we have it. And, and here he is. Challenger, you have obtained five Blaine dolls, which means it's time for our battle. I'm Blaine, the red hot gym leader here. My fiery Pokemon are all rough and ready with intense heat. They incinerate all challengers. Ha, hope you brought some burn heals. Indeed we did, but we won't need them because we have Tonka, the surfing master. You're challenged by gym leader Blaine with the fire in his eyes or in his spectacles of the least. He sends out Magmar and he has four Pokemon in total to tackle. I think we will be A-OK. -okay. okay, so Tonka, you are sort of, you know, soloing this entire thing. I think you'll be fine. We'll be seeing a lot of surf. And off it goes. We got it. So there's Magmar down. So what's Pokemon number two gonna be? As we tackle them all like this. But this is our seventh gym leader we've taken down, so how exciting is that? This is our second to last gym leader. Kobe grew to level 53, awesome. And gym leader, leader Bane, Blaine is gonna send an Arcanine, which we'll keep battling because that's the fire type ev evolution of Growlithe. All right, so you can see, he is so fluffy. Oh, he's adorable. I love him, surf him up. <laughs> he's just so cute. All right, well, sorry, but you gotta go down no matter how cute you are. Yeah. All right. So what do we got after that? We're about to find out. Halfway through it. I love the, like, everything about this gym leader, though. It's so cool. The quiz and everything. Rapidash, of course, evolution of uh, Ponita, which we've seen quite a few times in the past. Got it, we have a Rapidash in our Pokemon box, so pretty cool. So we should definitely have enough surf moves for everybody who comes along, every type of Pokemon if we need it. And what if this last one's like a water type, just to mix things up there a little bit. Okay, so one more Pokemon up to tackle, as far as I understand. 822 experience and nine tails. Okay, so we're gonna keep battling. Nine tails is not that big of a problem. And then just do surf one more time. We're uh, eight levels above this Pokemon, so it should be a one hit. Oh gosh, it isn't. Wow, okay, super effective. Now you can do it. Fire Blast, which really isn't gonna do much. Even if it does burn us. Very cool move, not very effective. And then fine, I'll go ahead and take you down with a bubble beam. Bubble the bubble bubble the bubble beam. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. And boom, see you Ninetales. And with that, Gym Leader Blaine should be taken down. Ninetales fainted. Awesome stuff, good job Tonka, you knocked it out of the park with this. 832 experience, Pokemon in waiting also got experience points and you beat Gym Leader Blaine. I have burned down to nothing, not even ashes remain. Poor guy. $7,000 for winning now. I like how his tie was also all burnt up. You have earned the Volcano Badge. Oh cool, we still haven't seen the Volcano by the way. I don't know where it is. You got a Volcano Badge from Blaine. Here, you can have this TM too. You got TM46 Fire Blast from Blaine. Put it in the TM case. TM46 contains Fire Blast, a red hot fire type move. Teach it to a fire type Pokemon. Volpix or Charmeleon would be ideal. 
Fire Blast is an attack to be shown the utmost respect. Don't waste it on water type Pokemon. Wow. Okay. And we should be good. We did it. So hey Giovanni, long time no see, and by long time I mean like a week. What's up, dude? Awkward. <laughs> Hi Giovanni. <laughs> Welcome to my hideout. It shall be so until I can restore Team Rocket to its former glory. But you have found me again, so be it. This time I'm not holding back. Once more then. You shall face Giovanni, the greatest trainer. The greatest trainer that's already lost twice to me. All right, if you say so. So is he only gonna have ground type Pokemon? Or is he gonna have Giovanni Pokemon? Dug Trio, that's a good start. Because if it's just ground type Pokemon, we should be fine. But I mean, it's just like, does he have to use ground type Pokemon according to the rules? Because if so, Giovanni doesn't seem to be a rule following type, I gotta be honest. Hopefully this one hits one hit takedown to Dug Trio. It does, awesome. Because he only has three more Pokemon left after this Dug Trio, so we're already at a good start. And now I'm at the, like I have the advantage, because it'll tell me what Pokemon he's changing into, so I can sort of counter that. Nido King, so we're fine with what we got, keep battling. And this is where I'll start using Surf, and we'll probably just use Surf for the rest of the battle, if I need to. Because Nido King can be a pain with that poison. So if I can just get to it first, and indeed I can. Boom. See you, Nidoking. King. Look, it isn't quite even worth it to use the Mega Evolutions just yet, because I don't know, like I could just one hit them. And that seems to be a lot more effective. Okay, sending out Rhydon. Once again, keep battling. So Rhydon, I think, is the evolution of Rhyhorn, but oddly enough, sort of looks more like a Nidoking, Queen, Nido King kind of thing. I don't know, it's weird. Anyways, it should be fine. We can take you on like this, and boom, one hit takedown. Level 50, though, a little bit more challenging there. So one more Pokemon left to take on, and then we'll be good. We have defeated Giovanni without it being a problem whatsoever. Okay, level 56 for Kobe. Good job, good job. Outrage, uh, let's take a look at that. Forget an old move. Outrage is a dragon type move. The Pokemon rampages and attacks for two or three turns and then becomes confused. You know what? I think I wanna put that over a Karate Chop. Cause Karate Chop just isn't very strong. It's for this stage of the game, 50 damage. So there we go. We forgot Karate Chop. And we learned Outrage, not bad. And grew to level, or Eve grew to level 61. Very good. So now Nitto Queen, we've already dealt with Nitto King. I think Nitto Queen shouldn't be that big of a deal. So yeah, not his average set of Pokemon because usually he has Persian and sometimes I feel like another couple of things. So good to know that he switches it up a little bit. That at least makes it a bit more interesting. And oh wow, didn't get rid of you. Weird. Because we got rid of the level 50 easily enough. Oh gosh, the earthquake might hurt a little bit. Not too much actually. Okay, fight and we'll just do bubble beam. Should be plenty enough to take you down. And then we'll be good, we have won. Super effective, that's it, I knew you could do it. Little Queen fainted. So there we go, all four of Giovanni's Pokemon have been taken down, and with it, our eighth and final gym leader. Gym leader, Gio Giovanni's defeated. Ugh. Ugh. That was a truly intense fight. What are you talking about? I just hit you over and over again until I won. $8,000 for winning that one. He seems to be happy about it. Yet again, I am defeated. As proof of your victory, here is your Earth Badge. All right, Eve, we did it! All eight of them! You got an Earth Badge from Giovanni. An Earth Badge makes all Pokemon obey you, regardless of how high their level is or who originally caught them. It is proof of your mastery as a Pokemon trainer. With it, you can challenge a Pokemon League. And the CM, a gift for a trainer who dares take on a ch the challenge of the Pokemon League. TM41 Earthquake from Giovanni, not bad. I'll take it. Contains Earthquake. It's a powerful attack that causes a massive tremor to deal damage to opponents. I made it a very long time ago. Back when this gym far, or I ran this gym far too long ago. I can't face my followers after being defeated like this. Team Rocket is, as of today, Team Rocket is finished. He seems pretty evil still. As for myself, I shall dedicate my life to Pokemon training again. 
You just get to walk off and not pay for any of your crimes? You gotta go to jail. <laughs> Let us meet again someday. Farewell. Like, you destroyed that one lady's house. And they got a mortgage to pay. <laughs> What's going on? He can't just walk away. That how it works. Eve is so excited that it's jumping up and down. <laughs> well, good job, Eve. We let a criminal get away, but at least we humiliate, humiliated them by baiting them at Pokemon. So there we have it, there were all eight gym leaders in Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. It was quite the journey going through Kanto region, collecting all of the Pokemon and taking on any trainer that stepped in our path. If you want more Pokemon action, be sure to check out the full Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee series, where I capture as many Pokemon as possible and become the Pokemon League champion. Thank you guys so much for watching, I'll see you next time, bye bye.